This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. Police are investigating an officer involved shooting near the I-17 and Thomas at two separate scenes. Police say it all began around three this morning with an armed man who was not listening to officers commands. Officers say the man took off and fired multiple shots towards the officer. When officers caught up with him, police say he once again refused commands, reaching towards his waistband. At least one officer then opened fire on the man who was injured but is expected to survive. No officers were hurt. You may have noticed a lot of students wearing orange today in the East Valley, honoring 16-year-old Preston Lord. This comes almost three weeks after his death. Police say the teenager was attacked at a Halloween party in Queen Creek, later dying from his injuries. So far, no arrests have been made. The FBI now helping in the investigation, offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. While we get ready for the holidays, many here in the U.S. can't afford to put food on the table. A USA Today survey of food banks showed they are seeing the worst level of hunger in years, with one in eight households experiencing food insecurity in the last year. To help make sure every family gets a Thanksgiving meal, today St. Mary's Food Bank began their turkey and holiday food distribution. The Cliff Castle Chopper over the long line of families waiting for a food box, and it's just getting started. ABC 15's Nalani Graf at the distribution line with more. Well, St. Mary's says that the need this year for their Thanksgiving dinners is up by about 15%. And we saw that before the giveaway even started. They tell me the first person got online at 1 o'clock in the morning, two hours before the donation drive started. There were more than 100 cars waiting. But now everybody's moving right along. You pull up. They're loading those turkeys, those Thanksgiving dinners, the boxes for all of the sides, bags of fresh produce to add to it, loading it up into each car so that every family in need can put that full Thanksgiving dinner on the table. They expect to help over the next three days about 10 to 12,000 families get that Thanksgiving dinner that they need. And when we talk to the people who are coming to get this help, the need is evident and they are so thankful. It's very helpful with the prices of all this outrageous. I am very thankful because we definitely needed it this year. Times are as hard as heck. It's going to make all the difference. It's turkey on the table. So very grateful. If you need the help, then the drive picks up again tomorrow from 8 to noon and then it's 8 to 11 on Wednesday here at St. Mary's. We're near Thomas and 31st Avenue. They also still have a big need. While they plan to help those tens of thousands of families, they still are going to need about 1,500 more turkeys after they get the rest of their big donations today. So if you can donate a turkey, they're still collecting them at the warehouse. You can avoid all of the lines as well, or you can donate money. They'll stretch 20 bucks to feed a family in need this holiday season. Go to stmarys.org. In Phoenix, I'm Nohei Lonnie Graf, ABC 15, Arizona. Nohei, thank you. Get your boots and hats ready. Country Thunder has announced its lineup for the 2024 Music Festival. Lainey Wilson, Eric Church, Jelly Roll, Randy Hauser, and Diamond Rio, and more. They will be taking the stage on April 11th through the 14th in Florence. Tickets are on sale now with general admission starting at $300. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Another gorgeous day across Arizona and winds will ease up here in the valley. We'll get some light breezes, but they won't be as strong as what we felt yesterday. Our temperature, though, will repeat of yesterday's high back to 75 degrees in Phoenix with 40s in spots like Flagstaff, upper 50s in Payson and wind alerts with highs in the upper 60s to low 70s in spots like Lake Havasu. Those wind alerts in place today as winds in those areas along the Colorado River will gust as high as 45 to 50 miles an hour. For the valley, look for north West winds between about 10 to 15 miles an hour gusts occasionally near 20 miles an hour. A little warmer than tomorrow as high pressure builds in, but we've got another storm system to track. That's going to bring a little more cloud cover by Thursday. We'll stay dry in the valley through Thanksgiving Day. Temperatures falling into the low 70s by the end of the week and then snow showers chances at least go up in the high country by the weekend. Meanwhile, here in the valley, a stray shower is possible Saturday. Not likely with temperatures though in the 60s to low 70s this weekend. We will have another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at ABC15.com or go ahead and download that free ABC15 mobile app.
This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.